here's the video for the EAVA metal transistor uh, from KFC Toys. That is phase 4A, according to the box. And uh, you can see it's blaster in a very nice shiny chrome paint scheme, the final version here. Um, the, the, the version of Hi-Fi is not, wasn't quite ready yet, but uh, this is the final version. Hi-Fi is a little tape that comes with him. Uh, it, this is the final version of Transistor himself, and, uh, and he's looking really nice. Uh, just real quick, we'll look at the box here. The box has got a nice metallic transistor up along the side with some cool box art there, along with the story of how he was at once part time, part, one time part of the Mugen clan. And you remember they did do the Mugen version of him and how he was kicked out and now needs a new body, which uh, is right here. And the box itself is kind of nice. There's, a, a, uh, again, some really cool box art on the inside. The clam shelter on the inside, or on the inside of the box itself. Um, and in the box, you get transistor, obviously. Uh, instruction manual, and here you can see him reformatting from his Mugen body into, uh, into transistor himself. Uh, which has a little comic and the instructions in the back. Um, a bio card. Uh, a couple of the uh, the trumpet sound blasting weapons that he uh, used in like I think one or one or two episodes. I think it was just one, a G1. We'll show you how those work in just a moment. Um, and then here is his the the, the head we've already seen the uh, the more comic esque uh, original toy blaster head versus the. Uh, the cartoon accurate one, which is on the on the body already. Um, also, as a first run bonus for this, you will get fully posable hands for Soundwave. Now, let me see if I can get this little baggie open. I would have installed them on Soundwave, but I haven't figured out. The, these hands themselves are pretty great. Uh, they've got fully posable fingers that you can use on Soundwave. And you can see there's a couple little screws under here. Uh, the only reason these are not currently on my Soundwave is because I have not yet figured out how to get the hands off of Soundwave, and uh, <laughs> we'll do that. But yeah, the first run of this will come with the superposable hands for Masterpiece Soundwave, MP13. So now on to Transistor himself. You can see he's a nice, uh, he's, he's his old boombox self, shiny red, bright yellow, the speakers on the sides. And uh, and speaking of the sides, like what, you'll even notice like on each side, there's like some really nice detail that would have been on old boom boxes like the equalizer over here headphone jacks down here uh the back is technical you know it has some technical workings but uh all solid in, filled in and then over here you've got uh volume knob speaker speaker balance knob and a power slider switch it doesn't actually slide but some really nice details that didn't have to be molded in over here but to make him look a little bit more like an actual boom box which is kind of cool now his uh, cassette tray opens uh, like that, and we've got the uh, KFC Squawk Talk here, as well as the Beast Box, I can't, Bird Bomber, and I can't remember what Beast Box was called. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so those cassettes. He has the same gimmick inside of his chest as Soundwave. Uh, you can push this back a couple of times, and then there's a little lever release here on the back that when you push down, pops the... Uh, Pops the cassette, uh, the cassette tray forward, and I honestly I think it almost works better than the one in my official Soundwave. Uh, it, 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 it's got it's nice clicky into place and it pops forward uh, very solidly. Now uh, one thing to note that again, much like on MP Soundwave, sometimes with 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 some cassettes, like I, I know I know he'll do it when you try to open it up. This doesn't always pop open. He gets a little caught. So just like on Soundwave, try to have him lean forward a little bit uh, when you're opening the cassettes, and uh, they should come right out. But yeah. So uh, so there he is. And speaking of Soundwave, of course, we're going to compare the two here. Uh, there, there they are next to each other. And again, much like their old G1 toys, Soundwave sound, or Blaster Transistor is a little bigger than MP Soundwave, bigger boombox versus the micro cassette player that Soundwave was. So yeah, there's not a whole lot really to compare. You know, they've got the same kind of detailing. We'll spin them all around here. But very comparable to Soundwave, and they look nice together, uh, even in alt mode. Now moving on to transformation. Uh, 
it's it's really pretty simple. Um, you just gonna want to go ahead and unhook these right here. We'll deal with those momentarily. Now, before he actually comes with two versions of his rifle, or two copies of his rifle. And before I was I showed you how they uh, attached under here, but I couldn't get both of them to attach at the same time. The reason for that is because the uh, the barrels actually come off and then peg in right here. The instructions show this. So the, the barrels for the rifle store right here. So the guns actually do store in alt mode, which is really cool. Um, I, like I said, I, I knew I could get one in there, but the barrels would, would bang together in here and they wouldn't fit. And it's because they're supposed to come out here and plug in there. So uh, now that we know that, we can take care of that. So yeah, you just come back here, start by lifting these panels up and rotating them out. Then these panels with the gun should rotate up and you can pull the handle of the gun off and flip the stock out. You'll notice the stock matches the gun this time. Pull this out, flip that up, all good there. And once those are out, uh, these kind of fold up. We'll finish folding those all the way up against the back here shortly. We're gonna wait to, it's easier to get these out once you're able to slide these pieces forward because then you can just pull them straight out. So we'll get to that in, in momentarily. Uh, they come up here, these panels right here flip up, now the arms come unpeg right from back here. Yep. We should peg onto the great piece there. Okay. These pieces unpeg out from here and lift up. And you can see, uh, un lift this up. And these panels come up like that. And now you've got kind of a bunch of parts fold around. Still pretty solid, but uh, that's, that's where everything's going to come loose from. These speaker panels actually, to, to, they, they cover this great. You actually take this and rotate this whole piece uh, so it looks more like a robot mode leg. Put those down. We'll go ahead and we'll do the legs first. So the legs come down, you lift these pieces up right here and fold this whole silver piece up into the body. These are gonna peg together to form his uh, crotch. Like that. And then these pieces will peg down and lock those pieces together. So that comes down and this piece right here comes down and that's gonna lock that whole assembly together and you can rotate that uh, okay well, we may need to wait a second before we rotate that no worries let's bring the legs down flip this around and that's going to cover up all those boom box details on the side so you cover that around and reveal some pistons and stuff on the outside of his leg here this okay open this up now this whole there's a silver l shape here with this attached you come around here and flip Put the foot up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so bring it a little further up. Bring the foot down and out. Flip out his heel spur. And then this piece, well, actually, don't flip it out here spur yet. This L piece comes back around. This piece folds over that. And then it's going to fold into the back of the leg there. Flip out the heel spur. You're done there. And then this piece will come around. And there's a little peg hole right here that this peg is going to fold into. So you fold this up and then fold this in. And that locks the leg in place. And we're going to rotate it like that. So the, the shiny piece is currently on the outside of the body. And the same thing will run this leg. Bring this around. Flip it kind of around like that. Actually, not all the way around like that. So we can flip this out. Flip the foot. Out and about. Oh, is that a double hinge? No, okay. It's just a matter of getting it past there then. Bring the foot down. Flip that back in. Fold that up. Peg it into that around here, around here, and flip that in and peg it in. And we've already got the piece on the outside, so we're good there. Now up here, take the uh, the arm pieces and slide them forward. Now that the legs are out of the way, these whole assemblies slide forward, and now you can pull these gun, these gun barrels out, uh, if you can get them. <laughs> you just kind of twist them out like that. Again, there's a, there's a little there's a little like, like a sight down the front that you can get a hold of uh, if you're not having trouble to pull it out. It's a little sharp, but uh, if you twist and pull, you should get the, the thing out. And then there's a little bit of a bend to them, so if you need to bend them a little bit to, to get a good grip on them to twist them out of the the peg hole there, I imagine that will get easier with time. Uh, ah, come on. Once you get that up here, it's easy to just kind of twist them out. 
And there you got the, peg, the rifles, which peg into the front of the rifle like that with the sight on top. Just like that. Easy piece. And then this piece can lift up. These pieces right here slide up and then fold in along the back right here. So you've got some little detail there. This piece lifts up, and once that piece can lift up, you rotate the waist around like that. Bring that the thinner crotch to the front, fold that back down, and then we're gonna work on the arms. And we stand them up here. Oh, I forgot to flip out the heel piece on this guy. All right, stand him up, and we'll come up a little bit and work on the arms. The arms are very simple. Just bring them down like this, open up this panel, and flip out the fist, get it out. He's got, just like the Soundwave fingers, he's got fully posable fingers, and we'll show those off here in just a moment. So you bring this down, fold this down, or snap this back into place here, fold this panel down, and then there's a tab here that tabs into a tab right here, or a tab hole, I guess. And then once that's done, you fold this around, and then there's a, again, there's a slot here, a tab here, lock that in place, and your forearm is done. And then there's those individual fingers. They're, they're actually articulated at every single knuckle, which is really, really cool. And then bring this up, flip his other hand out. Also, I found that if you fold, curl his fingers up into a fist and his thumb down, and you have the knuckles go in first, that makes flipping the, you notice I had a little trouble on this hand because I folded it in wrong. If you fold the fist up like this, thumb first and knuckles into a tight, as tight a fist as you can get it, and then rotate, fold it in so you can see the back of the hand and the slot, it comes out very easily. So just remember that. It'll, it'll fold in there and come out other ways, but there, there's some way, if you put them in with the back of the hand down, sometimes the knuckles will come loose and get jammed in there and you have to get like a toothpick to fold them forward, so. That's the easiest way I've found to lock everything together, or to not lock everything together, to get them to fold out properly and easily. And bring this around. Peg this on. Bring it down. Rotate it up. There's his whole body. And his head flips up just like on Soundwave. You've got to get under here. Now, this feels almost daunting at first, because uh, sometimes you'll try to come over here and get it. Right in the middle of, of this tab, you'll see there actually is an indentation up there. And if you go right in the middle of that tab with your thumbnail, even, even with short thumbnails, you should be able to get, uh, if you go to the side, it's gonna be hard because it's a little thicker plastic. If you go right in the middle, it should be easy to get your thumb right in that little indentation and flip it right open. So, flip his head up. And there is Transistor in robot mode. And you can see there's his more cartoon accurate head. Here he is with the, uh, the previously seen uh, comic book slash uh, original toy head. And uh, if you take this, you can actually, uh, you, you just unscrew it. So you don't have to take it, you unscrew it, and you can uh, swap the heads out. It's really, really, really easy process. I just don't have a small enough screwdriver to get in there with me. Normally I have one with me, I just didn't have it tonight. So there you go. Now, again, I mentioned he has these trumpet weapons, and those just plug into his hands before you fold them all up like this. <laughs> So, pop those back open. If you fold his hand in, again, I want to so you see the back of the hand this way. Fold that in. You can see there's a peg hole right here. And with the hand, you know, again, you can fold this all up. But it, oh, oh, wrong way. All right, on, on both hands, you can do this. You can attach these to his hand to give him the sound weapon. Like that. And again, this one does the same thing over here. I'm just going to hold it up because... I want to unplug them all, but you can give them the kind of cymbal, trumpet, horn, speakers. Let me go ahead and get this. Come here. There we go. Fist back up. Put all that in. And there he is. And again, his rifle, he can hold his rifle. There's a little, again, tab and slot mechanism. Open it up. You'll notice in his palms, there's a, there's a gap there. So you just slip, 
Put the thumb down, set that in the gap, plug it in, wrap his hand around it. Uh, it does help if you do it from the proper way because it's hard to clear that corner of the forearm. And wrap his fingers around it. And he can hold his rifles. Like I said, he will come with high test in the final version. Oh, I'm just going to back up here get the whole body in the shot. Let's see if I can, how much of him I can get in the shot just straight on here. He is a little tall. Maybe if we slide him back a little bit, we can get more of him. Oh, maybe we will be able to fit him here. Let's, let's get him in there. Pull it down a little. Oh, look at that. Alrighty. So there he is. Uh, again, posability. Uh, he's got... Uh, um, kind of, it's, not, it's a dual swivel here on the neck. It swivels this way and it swivels up and down. Uh, it's not a full ball joint, but it works just as well. Uh, now, the final version will apparently have, the early adopter will have the blue painted eyes. Uh, this one does not have the blue painted eyes, but his head will have blue painted eyes versus the yellow. Um, so you got that. You got uh, a, a universal joint, the shoulder swivel here, swivel here, a bicep swivel, uh, dual hinged elbow, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, and then wrist swivel, of course, the fingers, like I said, fingers are articulated at every joint. You've got one, two in, on each thumb, one, two, three joints on each finger. So, uh, so yeah, you can get a lot of posability out of hands easily. He does have a waist swivel. Uh, he's got dual swivels at their uh, ratchets there at the, uh, at the hip, thigh swivel, uh, ratcheting knees, and then he does have Again, a dual swivel on the ankle, it can kind of go side to side as well as forward and back. Um, if you have Masterpiece Soundwave, it's uh, very similar to that. Uh, on, and then on top of that, he's got the superposable fingers. And again, speaking of Masterpiece Soundwave, uh, here they are side by side. Blaster is just slightly taller, uh, mostly due to the horns and the, and, the, and the kind of dome shape of his head. But they're, they're similar in stature and they look really good. Actually, in this... The, See, from, from the angle of the camera, it looks like Soundwave might be a little taller, but if you look close, Blaster is just, just a smidge taller. I mean, it, it, it's not by much, but they, they, they look equal in stature, and that's really cool. Um, and that shiny metallic paint really makes these two look really nice together on the shelf. Did I say really enough? I can, I can fit it in a couple more times. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is KFC's Transistor. Um, if you remember the prototype, you can see how far it's come from that original test shot that I reviewed a while back. It looks beautiful. It really does. I love that it's got the same cassette gimmick. Um, like I said, I just have Squat Truck and Beast Box here from KFC. I, I keep meaning to get some of the Autobot cassettes, and he will come with one cassette. He will come with High Test, which I think is the uh, their version of Rewind, will come with him. Um, it's either Rewind or Eject. It's one It's one of the humanoid auto cassettes. Um, because, well, because because Steeljaw and, and, and Ramhorn, they've already done in Justice Paul line. Justice Paul? Justice Iron Paul? I can't remember what they're called, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're, they're coming. And uh, usually, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with that. He's, he's got a great boom box mode. I love all the little, little details on the side. Uh, the shiny paint is great. Um, Cause that looks like Soundwave and Blaster next to each other. And like, I think if I hadn't told you this was a KFC product at the beginning of the video, looking at those two next to each other, you wouldn't know. They're, they're very similar in design the way that they, they, they look they look like they could have been designed by the same team. Now, there is a little bit, like, I, th I think uh, Transistor actually has a slightly more intricate transformation than even MP Soundwave does, but, like, they look right together uh, next to each other here in front of me, and I think that's really the biggest thing that a lot of people are looking for you on your looking for on their shelves is I want figures that go right with this. Uh, the KFC quality, like I said, I know there were some issues with the past. It's really coming along. Uh, like I said, most of those companies are really kind of up in the ante ante with uh, each of their <laughs> releases. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little giddy here and a little, I'm talking and I'm getting a little lightheaded. Um, and, and very, very nice. I'm, I'm, I, I really like this um, together on the shelf. He's not, he's not flimsy. He's, he's quite sturdy. Um, he looks, again, he, he just looks nice. I mean, even if you just put him on the shelf, he's going to look great next to Soundwave on your MP, on your Masterpiece shelf. So anyway, enough of me rambling uh rambling on uh there is kfc's transistor he is as i've said very neat and uh if you've been looking for a blaster to go on your masterpiece shelf this guy's not bad you're gonna like him <laughs>